So continuing on here, we, as you see, we have a much larger form factor. Now this is the neat board 65. Um, so 65 inch all in one zoom room for touch that includes all the microphones, cameras, speakers, the touch interface, um, also running the virtual kiosk software that we just saw on the neat frame. Um, and this is a larger form factor. And the reason for it is the second application on, on the virtual kiosk is our workspace reservation. Now, Workspace Reservation at Zoom is a homegrown product that we brought to market last year to help our clients with their hybrid and flexible work strategies. A lot of companies are reducing their real estate footprints uh, and not doing dedicated desks and cubicles and workstations for every employee because people are coming in uh, a couple days a week and you know they really are working in that flexible hybrid work model. So Workspace Reservation has been a, a huge hit. Um, even before I get to the office, I can make reservations from my phone in the Zoom app, uh, from the desktop Zoom client. I can also go to the Zoom web portal and it's very easy to search for spaces to get my work done. Could be a conference room, could be an individual workstation that I need to set up for the day. Um, so there's a, a lot to the workspace reservation capabilities. What you're seeing here is that we can set this up on a kiosk in the physical building. So if I didn't plan ahead and I forgot to book a space, as soon as I enter the office here, um, I pull up the workspace reservation and now I'm looking at a real-time view of this floor's map. And so you see red and green uh, availability indicators. So I see which rooms are booked solid here. I can see which rooms are available. Um, and then actually, uh, we can actually see hot desks as well. So one of the things I love about this is that when I go in and I do want to find a conference room, when I tap on the room, even though this one's uh, unavailable at the moment, I can see some information about the room. I can see a photo of the room. I can see capacity. We can place uh, custom asset tags in there so you can see more information around what, um, what types of uh, capabilities are in that particular room. And even though it's booked right now, I could always go ahead and book this room for a later date directly from the Workspace kiosk. Now, what's really cool here is that we also have the ability to book hot desks. So uh, you'll see some circle indicators here. There's a variety of available desks, which is nice. I can actually see the profile pictures of my, my teammates. So I know where they're all situated for the day. So I can go ahead and book a desk right nearby them. So I'm gonna go in here and uh, take a look at a couple of the different desks that are available. Um, so let me go ahead and tap on this one, which is the one that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, select a hot desk here. This is gonna be a neat frame. You'll see when I go to the check-in experience, same device that we saw in the virtual receptionist. So I'll go ahead and reserve this. And what it does here is it's gonna prompt me with a QR code. Since this virtual kiosk is in a public space, it doesn't know who I am as a user yet. And so I wanna make the reservation, but it needs me to authenticate that. And it's a simple QR code scan. Would you like to reserve the neat frame um, hot desk? Yes, I would. And my reservation's made. Um, so actually when I go in there and, and tap uh, back to this interactive floor map, now when I look at that desk, we see my profile picture. So Zoom knows that's my reservation. And we'll show you the value of having a device like a neat frame when I go to check into that hot desk. All right, so here we are at a hot desk. Now this is set up in a private phone booth, but these also could be set up in open cubicle or open uh, workstation areas. And what it's gonna do is the first thing you'll notice is that we see a very clear uh, indicator across the bottom that this, this hot desk is reserved. You watched me make that reservation from our workspace reservation kiosk on the neat board. And you'll see my profile picture. We see who made the reservation, what my time is uh, for this reservation. So it's very clear that this is mine. And so others won't you know, sit up, uh, walk in there and sit down at that other hot desk. Since it has a device here, and you'll notice that there's a QR code on the device, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and scan that QR code. And it's gonna ask me, would you like to check into the neat frame desk? Um, and yes, I would. So that's cool for a number of reasons. So um, not only are, are we now able to track our um, hot desk utilization and check-in rates and things like that, but what it did was just by scanning that QR code, it checked me into this device now with my personal Zoom profile. And so whether I'm working here for an hour or for the full day, this neat frame is now completely customizable for me. And so I can sit down and within a minute or so, I am 
up and running. If I had meetings on my calendar, I would see all those meetings. My Zoom phone line gets ported over to, to myself, my contacts, even whiteboards that are associated um, you know, with my Zoom profile, all accessible directly on the device itself. So super simple there to deliver that personalized Zoom experience. Again, it doesn't have to be in a private booth here. It could be in um, any sort of uh, situation where people are gonna need a touchdown space to, to sit down and get their work done.